Twits by Roald Dahl. Chapter 6. The Frog. To pay her back for the glass eye in his beer, Mr Twit decided he would put a frog in Mrs Twit's bed. He caught a big one down by the pond and carried it back secretly in a box. That night, when Mrs Twit was in the bathroom getting ready for bed, Mr Twit slipped the frog between her sheets. Then he got into his own bed and waited for the fun to begin. Mrs Twit came back and climbed into her bed and put out the light. She lay there in the dark, scratching her tummy. Her tummy was itching. Dirty old hags like her always have itchy tummies. Then all at once she felt something cold and slimy crawling over her feet. She screamed. What's the matter with you? (laughs) Mr Twit said. Help! screamed Mrs Twit, bouncing about. There's something in my bed. (laughs) I bet it's that giant skilly wiggly I saw on the floor just now, Mr Twit said. The what? screamed Mrs Twit. I tried to kill it, but it got away, Mr Twit said. It's got teeth like screwdrivers. <laughs> Can you help? screamed Mrs Twit. Save me! It's all over my feet! They bite off your toes, said Mr Twit. Mrs Twit fainted. Mr Twit got out of bed and fetched a jug of cold water, and he poured the water over Mrs Twit's head to revive her. The frog crawled up from under the sheets to get near the water. It started jumping about on the pillow. Frogs love water. This one was having a good time. When Mrs Twit came to, the frog had just jumped onto her fears. This is not a nice thing to happen to anyone in bed at night. And she screamed again. By golly, <laughs> he's a giant skilly wiggler, Mr Twit said. He'll bite off your nose. Mrs Twit leapt out of bed and flew downstairs and spent the night on the sofa. The frog went to sleep on her pillow.